Audi was the first car brand that came here to Las Vegas. Yeah, Can it was you? the first German manufacturer back in 2011 presenting its innovations and technologies here at the CES. But what was the main reason? Why did you came here? I think the CS offers us a fantastic mixture. I mean, it's not a normal car show or anything. It is more a gathering of a lot of visionary people, forward thinkers. And I think that's something that really fits well with the Audi brand and with the way we tick and the way we want to develop our stuff. So we really love to have that exchange with all these people here and yeah, use the showcase of showing all of our Audi innovations. So here uh, is all about innovations, not the real cars. Yeah, I mean, this is not a car show, so I don't think, I mean, this is not the, the, the way where you normally come up like traditional auto shows and present the next generation of a new car. This is more different use cases, how you can apply certain technologies in cars, in the automotive field. And it's more explorative, more innovative way of presenting your technologies. But for this year, you presented Amy. Can you share us? Amy, it's, um, it's one of our concept cars, so it's not a serial car, of course. We use the vehicle here as the showcase to show various opportunities and various um, technologies that we will apply within Audi in the coming years, so it's a, it's a visionary showcase. And um, Amy is a fantastic opportunity to especially show some of the display stuff, some of the interaction between the car and the uh, consumer driving the car, and a lot of things that we can do with artificial intelligence in the future. That's why the AI stands for artificial intelligence, and me, because it's obviously the focus on the driver and, and on the person using the car. So a perfect vehicle to show the interaction and what is possible in, in, in future with the connectivity. Can you be more specific? What is important? Yeah, for example, we have a lot of sensors in our cars already anyway. And we can use those sensors to check a little bit more on, for example, your health situation, on your vitality situation. So I know you're working hard here on the CES and you're in action all day. So, for example, with a camera, the, the eye tracking could realize whether you're very tired today and uh, what, what sort of mood you are in. And then we could fix, for example, the lighting. You can use a special light that is more invigorating for you. Or we could offer you on the navigation where the next uh, stop is, where you can rest. Or we can offer a well-being program. You can see that in our display here in the front of the car. And uh, you can have a massage on or certain things there. So the car gets into, with, with artificial intelligence, into a self-learning mode, if you like. And the car gets to know you much better. So in a way, the car becomes your personal companion, your, your buddy. And it knows you well, it knows what you like, what you don't like, your preferences. It, it can track on your actual mood and then offer you certain things from music over to um, well-being, over to relaxing moments, whatever you like. And I think that's, that's really charming to see how, between, how the relationship between the car and the individual is really growing and becoming something very personal. I see uh, a lot of displays and I remember I was at the Biden press conference and they said that the time is right and they are ready and they, they are thinking about the car that has a 48 inch screen. Do you think this is really the car for today? Well, if you look at, at Amy now here, we have a display band that is going across the whole front here and um, I think that shows what is technically possible, but you know, at Audi we say Vorsprung durch Technik, or we say progress, um, but progress by technology does not mean that you necessarily always use everything that is technologically wise possible. You need to deploy the right things, you need to deploy the, those technologies that make sense for a customer, that create a value, that add value to him. And I think we need to really understand what different modes um, does a customer use displays for. You might use displays just for navigation, you might use displays for watching a Netflix series. And that's a different use case. And um, so I don't think there's this one solution, like every car should have now huge screens, but I think you need to understand exactly what the right use case is and what works best. So yes, I mean, over the course of time, we have seen that displays have become bigger and, and are differently integrated into the car. But still, it's a car, it's driving on the road, and as long as we're not driving completely autonomous, I think we need to be realistic as well in terms of what is feasible and how can you best really use it when you are driving a car, and not just when you're standing here and um, watch a Netflix series, right? But I'm pointing towards uh, the movies in the car. They uh, they made a c announced a collaboration with the Paramount, and also Sony uh, presented a car, and they, they were very cre clear that they wanted um, to earn money with um, film rights. 
Yeah, but the, the idea of bringing partners into the car and using content from other areas in the car is not that new. I mean, we are used to this already. Yeah? We, we have partners who are providing our maps and we have partners who are providing our music, etc. And I think that's, that's fantastic. That's a new way of, of collect, co connecting car with the environment outside. And of course, um, you, you can get um, partners from the media and partners from the entertainment industry into your car. And, but in the end of the day, it's not about them or us. In the end of the day, it's about the consumer and what do we want to offer to the consumer. So if you take Amy, which is a fully electric car, and Amy is as a concept car, fully autonomous, you have spare time and you want to use that time. So what is the offer that you have from Audi in order to make the best use of your time? And then, of course, it might be very interesting for you if you want to relax a little bit, yeah, you chill and you, you listen to certain music or you watch um, a film or, yeah, so it's depending on your personal use cases, but the, nobody's doing cars anymore in the way that it's a closed ecosystem. It's an open ecosystem, it's a platform, and on that platform you can have various partners participate. But we are stepping now into the new era of car mobility. You have to find a new ways to earn money. Okay, movies are one. Can you give me some other examples how you will earn money in the future? Yeah, I don't think it's it's limited to saying okay by by putting some movies into the car you earn money. I don't think that's the, that's the right scale here. I think what we overall see is that the um, the, the business model as it used to be is no longer just 100% working like this. So we need to open up. So. Our, our dealer partners, our investors, we are all working on this to get this digitalization as an enabler into new business models. And that could be any form of mobility services. Audi is offering Audi on demand. We have our own mobility services here. We have integrated our dealer partners into that. So you can have the Audi on demand stations in the dealerships as well as in certain locations like airports and train stations, etc. And our customers can choose and it's not black and white, it's not you drive a car and own a car or you don't. It is adding choice to the customer. So the customer decides there are opportunities where he or she might say, today I want to use my own car and I'll have a longer ride and I want to enjoy the ride. And there might be opportunities where he or she says, I, I would like to rent a car just like for an hourly base or I just want to share my car with somebody. So it's adding new forms of mobility to the existing forms of mobility. And that's, I think, a very exciting time to be in. And there are, of course, things you have to try and, and try again. And there are things that are working really well. And Audi On Demand is working, for example, really well. And we can earn money with that. So there's a lot of new business models coming up. And it's, it's exciting times. Will you um, sell more cars into the future or less? Well, hopefully we will grow and um, have a healthy growth. So profitable growth is the right direction to go for. Okay, I think it's the right moment that we do a selfie and finish yeah, this conversation. Amy can even do that. So Amy can do a selfie. You just have to look beautiful. That's all you have to do. It will say one, two, three, and it will say cheese. Here's the counter. Three, two, one. Cheese. Awesome. Here we go. There's your picture. Thank you very much. Here we go. Thank you very much. It was enjoyable. Thank you.